it's so important that you get beyond the mentality of just getting up there on the first serve and just trying to pop the first serve, go for a big first serve, and then hope for the best. You have to be smarter and more specific with how you're using your serve in order to set up the rest of the point. So some great highlight clips here, some great examples of these uh, players at Kalamazoo. It's the boys' nationals, 18 finals. I want to go over a bunch of clips here and show you exactly how they're doing it. And what's great about these clips is that you're going to see they're not going for the big bomb every single time. They're specifically using their serve, their, especially their first serve, as a setup. So that way they can create damage on the next ball. You may or may not have heard coaches or players talk about how important it is to uh, play first strike tennis. Well, you're going to see it at first hand here and how well these players are able to do it. All right. And again, they're obviously at a very high level. This is some of the best tennis and junior as far as uh, in the nation, as far as juniors go at Kalamazoo. But these are things that you want to be developing and working towards for your game. All right. So let's enough chat here. Let's dive into it. OK, first clip. OK, we're going to see uh, the gentleman here on the bottom is serving. I believe he goes wide the first point. Let's see what happens. Right. Great. So even right there, you're going to see he serves wide. OK, great serve out wide. Doesn't go for a huge serve, just slices it well. And you can see right there extends the returner, forces him to chip it back. The returner leaves it short, which allows him to move in and attack. Now he's in control. OK, he's taking control from the beginning of the point. All right. Finishes with with a nice lob right there. All right, clip number two, let's roll it again. Okay, this time, a little different, decides to go into the body. And this is, again, part of the whole concept of serving. He's keeping his serves uh, a bit unpredictable, so that way the returner doesn't know where he's going to go every time. Again, this allows the server to keep the returner on the heels a bit. Okay, so let's roll it one more time. Okay, serves into the body. Returner chips it short. Again, server comes in. He's able to attack and then finishes well with the overhead. Okay, so a little different. I like this one. So this time, again, this is a perfect case in point example of how you don't always have to go for your big flat serve. So this point, he actually kicks it out wide, throws in some nice variation. And not only does he move the returner off the court a little bit, but he forces him to use one hand uh, uh, on the return. So the, so the returner here slices it back and the server, you're going to notice how well he looks to take this early and create damage. Okay? In fact, there, there, he, came right, he came right in there. Okay, so great plan of attack. This is all very strategic serving, okay, that's going on. It's not happening by chance. He's specifically thinking about what he wants to do, and he's planning for that before he gets up to that line, before he hits the serve. Okay, server on the top this time. Great. I love this serve. One of the most effective serves, I think, on the do side for right-handers is that slice out wide. Okay, you're going to notice again when he serves this, doesn't go for a huge serve, just uses the slice and already you can see the returner, okay, gets extended, leaves the return short, okay, and then the server is able to then take advantage of that and go to the open court, okay. Okay, last clip. Okay, this one, a little different, but you can see serves down the tee, use a little bit of a slice down the tee, doesn't drop a huge bomb. However, what he does do, you can see right here, returner, how extended he is. All these serves, you're noticing that the return, the returner, okay, is extended. They're in a more defensive, either handcuffed or stretched position, which we all know, right, when we're in that situation, it's difficult for us to get anything on the ball in regards to maybe being able to create some depth or any type of speed to push the server back. 
I also kind of like where the um, the server is. He's inside the court. He's recognized this. He's looking and ready to take this return early so that he can create damage right away. And there it is. Okay. So again, if you take anything out of this video, juniors, make sure you're getting out working on your serve. So important. Work your variety. Work your locations. Okay. Don't just get out there and hammer your serve and look to hit it big all the time. You have to be able to think about it in a way that is going to allow you to set up your next ball. Okay. Um, so anyways, hope this helped. Get it out there. Keep working on it. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, but through practice, you're going to get better. All right. But you have to be smart about it and you have to be specific with how you're practicing your serve. All right. All the best. Give it a try. And don't forget to have some fun with it.